Hey everyone, it's Jay here, um, your figure drawing teacher. Um, I just wanted to make a short video on some of the work I've made over the last decade. So, um, so we'll get right into it. Um, so here's a cross section of different work. Uh, as you can see, I work in different uh, mediums, uh, mostly collage or uh, ink. Uh, sometimes printmaking and uh, digital. So um, we'll start here with these collages. Uh, <clears throat> these collages are based off a series called Figures of Love, um, inspired by a, uh, a book. Um, so a lot of these are uh, texts that have been taken out of fr uh, context from songs or books or movies, like uh, this one's called uh, Sometimes I'm Thinking That I Love You. It's from a Portishead song. Uh, let man fear woman when she loves. I believe that's from. Uh, I can't remember what book. Yeah, it's not on there. Um, Taste is a matter of love. That is from uh, Jean Luc Godard book or a film. And at last, that's from um, the Edda James song. So. These are all like uh, collaged in um, uh, collage paper and, and uh, acrylic. So, moving on. <clears throat> Here's a few watercolors uh, based off um, <clears throat> an artist I really admired, uh, Hiroshige. He's a he's a famous Japanese wood uh, woodblock print printer, artist. Uh, a lot of his works are based on uh, landscapes of Japan. So I kind of uh, took images from that and abstract them and distorted them. Um, and these later became bigger uh, 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 paintings and murals. Uh, so these were sort of like my the studies for those. So. And these are all um, just watercolor on these uh, Japanese boards. And speaking of Hiroshige, uh, I really also loved his uh, woodblock prints of uh, fishes that he made. So, so these are uh, Indian ink on a Japanese handmade paper. Uh, later, later, these uh, drawings were scanned and then redrawn in the computer to create an animation. Um, I believe that's a rockfish. I usually tend to also work in uh, series and bunches and I jump around from series to series. Uh, so moving on to the a similar um, or using the same medium but different uh, subject matter, uh, I kind of I was really fascinated with houses in Los Angeles because I was in in the process of buying one myself, and I also uh, liked horror movies. So uh, I started doing these drawings of uh, horror uh, sets, movie sets of uh, horror films. So this is the house for uh, Michael Myers, based in Pasadena, from the Halloween series. This is, this house is uh, the Poltergeist house. I believe that's in San Diego. Uh, this one is the church uh, in that movie, um, Prince of Darkness by John Carpenter. And these, <clears throat> these are what I call my record drawings, um, based off, uh, at the time I was kind of getting into these like weird uh, psychological tests. And this one in particular is called the Zondi test, which uh, used a lot of faces as part of the test. And so um, so part of me was fascinated with all these faces just and, and just drawing these portraits. And I've also loved, uh, I've always been kind of interested in the circular composition of records. So. So I kind of fused the two. 
uh, I believe there was like uh, seven records total. Uh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> I also worked with, uh, made some linoleum cuts of um, people that I considered my heroes. So this one's called, uh, this one's Angela Davis. One of the rules of this was um, that I could not have met my hero, so they were sort of like idealized. And they're always uh, all either singing or yelling. That's Muhammad Ali. Octavia Butler, the writer. Guy Mariano, famous skateboarder. Uh, Billie Holiday. And Mark Twain. Um, these drawings are based off of, um, kind of like, not necessarily inspired, but more reflecting on all the mass shootings that were happening and the people that were committing them. So I, uh, I used kind of the face of, uh, these shooters, these, uh, um, and kind of made this, these drawings and, um, and I just kind of was reflecting on the, the madness that it sort of created echoing out after that uh, the incident takes place. So, so this series is called Echoes of Madness. And I guess my most recent work are these digital prints and drawings that I made based off uh, places I've been as far as... Uh, at uh, kind of desolate places of ranges. Um, so that's a self-portrait of me in the desert with a rifle and a bunch of records on the floor from DJing. A lot of this is kind of also fantasy too, so it's like a little subtle. This is uh, a range in uh, Pala, and I was kind of admiring the poppy fields there, the flower fields, and instead I changed them into uh, steel targets. So. So, so that's a little bit about me. Um, hopefully, I will see you guys soon. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye.